I don't know who put this together, but I hope next month's box is a lot better than this one. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Sketchbox February 2022 unboxing and demo. As always, the full description of each item in this month's box will be listed in the box below. I already know what's in this box and honestly I'm a little nervous, so let's get started. The art on the box is by Brian Guyan at Whimsical Journeys. I'm not sure. I think it's Bryn, actually, not Brian. Bryn. Um, okay, so let's open this thing up. First, we have our menu with the retail prices and details about our supplies and a little postcard for inspiration. And of course, our sticker comes first, as always, but I did forget to film me putting it into my sketchbook, but here it is. Okay, first thing, the Dalgard Mechanical Pencil, retailing for $7.20, and the Uni Nano Dia Color, 0.5 millimeter lead, retailing $3.30. This mechanical pencil says to have a spring-loaded tip that helps reduce breakage, but that didn't stop me from breaking pretty much every single color I tried to put into the pencil. I don't know, maybe I was doing it wrong, but I didn't really see any other way of putting them inside besides how I'm doing it here. Um, it also came with an eraser, which I didn't notice at first, but um, discovered it when I was trying to find out how to put in the leads and all that fun stuff. I tried to take it apart and see if maybe that's the way to do it. I really couldn't figure it out. I mean, it unscrews for a reason. That's why I thought that maybe that's how we did it. But end of the day, um, I'm not exactly sure how to, <laughs> that sounds pretty weird, right? I'm not sure how to put in the lead, but I'm just gonna keep doing it my way. Next, the Faber-Castell Grip Eraser retailing for $2.05. Nothing too special about the eraser except its shape and color. It looks really cool and it actually does seem to work really, really great. So I will definitely be putting it to good use. We also received this Pilot Parallel Pen with a 6mm nib retailing for $10 along with the Parallel Pen Refill Pack with 12 additional inks retailing for $3.90. The little starter pack comes with blue and red cartridges. A little blade thing for cleaning your pen and clearing it from the ink gunk or dried up ink and this water vessel to also clean out the ink when swatching out cartridges. And of course installing the first ink was an absolute fail because I did not read the clear instructions and I twisted in the cartridge which is exactly what they state not to do. But after reading the directions I finally did it the right way and held the pen upright while inserting the cartridge straight into the pen so that the seal would break. Even after figuring it out though this was an absolute disaster and I did not swatch all the colors because I was not about to open up all of these inks and waste them for no reason because pretty much to me and every other person's surprise these are not resealable once it's opened you know that's that's it once it's opened it's opened you gotta get kind of creative for uh closing it on your own my first thought of approaching this pen was to clean out the inks and put them in wells and pick up the ink again with the tip of the pen to make some like cool blends. And sometimes it worked, but most times it just didn't work. That could be because I have zero experience with this material. I also did quite a few zigzag patterns to get it flowing, and I really like the variety of widths that we can achieve with this pen, but I don't have the right pressure to keep them consistent. But we'll talk more about this really cool but mess of a tool later. Next up is the Rapid Design Sketchmate, retailing for $10.95, which I think is a little steep to me for a ruler and shape guide, but you know, that's just me. And for our surface is the clear print design vellum 4 inch by 6 inch 50 sheets retailing for $9.80. I'm not a fan of transparent paper so I will definitely be putting this in my little giveaway box. So now that we've got everything out, let's close this up, make some art, and talk about my thoughts and opinions on this teeny wreck of a box. I didn't really know what to make so I looked into my artist's morgue which is basically just a collection of inspiring pictures or photos that I've taken that I'd like to paint one day and I decided on this one, but of course in a more simplified style. And it ended up being a disaster anyways. I really should have stuck with some sort of like flat illustration because these materials were just too messy for someone like me to handle. But where to start? This box, in my opinion, just wasn't curated right. I mean, we have refillable ink cartridges, which is nice, but it's not like we can switch them in and out as we please without making a mess, unless you're really 
used to this kind of material. I think the parallel pen is great and it works magnificently and it already came with red and blue ink. I just don't think we needed the additional refills. I think this could have been in a box of its own with the vellum paper and then the mechanical pencil eraser and lead could have been in a separate box of its own maybe and then the ruler being technically the most expensive thing in the box is just weird to me i'm sure some people will love this sketch mate but i think the people who would want a ruler like this would invest in one themselves i don't think people who are ordering mystery art boxes would expect the most expensive item in their box to be essentially a ruler you can call it what you want but I'm going to call it a ruler. I think the items separately make great materials, I just don't think they all belong in a box together. I think they could have put something else way better together. Like if you're sending us a calligraphy pen then make this a calligraphy box. Send us an additional calligraphy pen or like a mini lettering workbook or something that belongs in the same group. And if people want to experiment outside of calligraphy, then let them do that on their own. If you're sending us a mechanical pencil and colorful lead, then okay, but figure out a different medium to send that along with besides a calligraphy pen. I don't know, maybe I'm just not an experienced enough artist to really rant about the curation of the box, but this was hard for me to figure out. When I think about it, I'm going to have these refillable cartridges just sitting here until this ink runs out when we could have been sent an additional pen or maybe a bigger starter pack than just this one pen. I don't know, it just all seems weird to put in a box together. And when I tried to layer the lead pencil on top of the ink, you know, the shine that typically comes with the graphite it was just not working well together in my opinion like you have this really nice matte flat ink and then you have the like shininess on top of it I just I personally don't like the way that looks I'm definitely going to be using these separately to see if my opinion changes but so far this box was the worst box I've received in terms of how the products work together I just think it's crazy to send items that we can't even use unless you figure out a way to cover the open cartridges like the most logical way to use them is once you use up all the ink so it just feels like it's the, the money is not here it's not not worth it's not worth the amount that we paid for the box but maybe I'm being too harsh I mean I really like all the items though but as individuals again as individuals they're great all together I think it's not great I think they put it together wrong so what I'm trying to say is that it's hard to say this box sucks when the materials are actually good I just don't think they work well together not too sure what sketchbox was thinking but this is not it for me. I'm going to stick with monochromatics for the next round that I play with these and maybe I'll feel a little bit differently but I just I don't like the end result. I don't like how it ends up looking all together. I tried to fix it by lining it and by putting like some extra stuff that did not come in the box which I really try not to do but I just didn't like the way this was looking. I just really really didn't like it. Well let me know what your thoughts were on the box. I'm sure I'm going to see some amazing pieces achieved with these materials by you guys because when I hate something I end up seeing like some amazing things out there and again it's not that I hate the materials I think the pen itself is a really really good item the mechanical pencil in its own is also a cool item so is the eraser but I mean I just don't like the way the box was put together I don't like the box as a whole that's all I have on this box though thank you so much for joining me and for hearing me complain about it and I hope to see you next time bye